Okay, in this module, I'd like to kind of formalize things a little bit more. I want to talk to you about power factor, and I want to talk to you about the case of a leading power factor and the case of a lagging power factor. Now look, let's look at a couple of different uh, situations. You remember from our work before, we might have had a power triangle that, let's say, looked like this. So we actually had, let's say, uh, the real power horizontally, and we had, let's say, the um, inductive reactive power sitting here like this. So this was Q, and this, of course, was S being the apparent power. And we had an angle sitting over here, which was phi. All right, so in this particular case, we can actually say that the power factor is going to be equal to, really, it's the cosine of that angle phi, okay? Well, another way to think about this, what is cosine? Well, we can think about the cosine as being what? Basically, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we could say that the cosine of phi is equal to the adjacent here, uh, which is what? P, uh, divided by the hypotenuse, which is S, okay? So that's another way we can actually work out the power factor as simply taking the ratio, really, of this uh, real power divided by the apparent power. Okay, when we saw a result such as this, we kind of concluded that the circuit basically was effectively inductive in nature, okay? And we have a situation here um, whereby uh, the current really is actually lagging the voltage. So the current is really lagging the voltage. So I'll write that down. We can say that the current basically lags uh, the voltage. Okay, look, a little acronym that can help us think about this is Civil, C-I-V-I-L. And we've said that this circuit is inductive. We've seen that in the past when we have a power triangle that looks like this. Well, think about this. In an inductor, the voltage leads the current. Or in other words, really what? The current is lagging the voltage. Okay? And so really, uh, in this case, we talk about this as a lagging power factor. And another way to put this, to note whether this is a lagging power factor, is to say that the real power, or just putting it another way, the real power lags the apparent power. And so therefore, we talk about this as basically being a lagging power factor. So once again, you can talk about this in terms of current lagging voltage, or you could talk about this in terms of the real power here uh, lagging the apparent power over here. And as I said before, this is an inductive circuit, or the result is inductive, and we can say then, therefore, as far as the inductor is concerned, the current is lagging the voltage. The other situation is like this. This is our uh, real power, and we've got reactive power now in this direction. So that's Q. Uh, once again, this would be our apparent power, S, and that's our angle phi. So we can still say that the power factor is equal to the cosine of that angle phi. Or we can say that the cosine of phi is really equal to what? It's again uh, the adjacent, which is the true power, divided by the apparent power. All right, now in this type of circuit here, we can call this really basically capacitive. So that is capacitive in nature, okay? And look, if we were using this current approach, we could say a little acronym is civil, and we could say in the capacitor, well, what is happening here? 
the current is leading the voltage. So the current leads the voltage. All right, so let's write that down. The current basically is leading or leads the voltage. All right, and we can call this basically a leading power factor. Another way to look at this, so this is a leading power factor. Let me write that, leading power factor. Another way to look at this is to talk about the true power, and we, or the real power, and we can say if the real power is leading, the apparent power, then we can say that we have a leading power factor. Okay, so we can look at it this way to determine whether we have a leading power factor, or we can look at it this way to determine whether we have a leading power factor. So look, in summary, if I have a situation then where my true power, real power, and my reactive power is like this. There's my apparent power, S. There's my angle between the apparent power and the real power. Then I can say in this case that basically this is a lagging. So let's, let's put this down. The power factor yep, is equal to the cosine of that angle phi, and what is it? It is a lagging power factor. Once again, a way to think about that is to simply say that the real power lags the apparent power. So the real power lags the apparent power. Okay, the other situation that we looked at was that we have our true power, real power, and then we have our reactive power in this direction, and there, of course, is the apparent power. Once again, this angle over here uh, is the angle difference between my real power and my apparent power, and I can say, as before, that the power factor is equal to the cosine of that angle, phi. And it is, in this case, leading. So it's a leading power factor. And another way to think about that is to say, well, the real power, so the real power leads the apparent power. Okay. So we've just summarized the two conditions. Remember, the power factor is the cosine of that angle. And whether it leads or lags is dependent upon whether, in this case, the real power lags behind the apparent power, so therefore it is a lagging power factor, or in this case over here, that the real power leads the apparent power, and therefore it is a leading power factor. Mm -hmm.